This is how an anatomy class was flipped. Flipping the classroom involves moving the lecture out of class, generally via the use of a video lecture that students watch at home on their own time. Thus, tutors have class time to work on problems, questions, and interactive discussions. Consequently, I provided the in-class students for the thyroid anatomy session, I provided them with links to five of my own videos on anatomy of the thyroid gland, totaling to about 62 minutes. The videos were available on Human Anatomy Education channel on YouTube. They included three videos in the form of a PowerPoint presentation on the anatomy of the thyroid gland. Concerning the arterial blood supply of the thyroid gland to the recurrent laryngeal nerve that is located in the groove between the trachea and esophagus. Another video on the practical anatomy of the thyroid gland and the triangles of the neck was also uploaded. Again here anteriorly we can see the superior thyroid artery. We find that the recurrent laryngeal nerve is also related to an artery. This artery is the inferior thyroid artery. See? The fifth video was on the applied anatomy of the thyroid gland surgical anatomy of subtotal thyroidectomy. After completing the video sessions, students were supposed to read a mini problem that was uploaded to them on Google Drive. An announcement was set to students on their uh, blackboard. The announcement included all the links and the details of uh, the session and informed the students that there will be 10 multiple choice questions will be provided during the class in the form of uh, a team-based learning session. Also, the students uh, were provided with links on the Anatomy Facebook page uh, about page posts that were related to the thyroid gland. This is a last year page post on the thyroid gland that contains uh, some questions. It was actually, it was a sketch by one of the students and uh, questions were prepared on that and you can see the interaction of uh, students on the post. In addition, the following resources were also uploaded on the Blackboard, including the objectives file and the files of PowerPoint presentations for the pre-lab and practical sessions. And the students were supposed to study the material before coming to the class so that they will spend the class time in interactive discussions. Students were also directed to read about the uh, flipping of the classroom and uh, the following links were provided to them, a link which is called Lectureless Classroom, another one, what is a flipped classroom, and the other one, what is different about the flipped classroom. This is one of the videos about uh, flipping the classroom that was uploaded by Stanford Medicine Interactive Learning Initiatives. The old mode of teaching, of sitting there and uh, imparting via a careful outline a series of facts, that really is passe. We have so many better ways to teach. Today we are going to have this session of the thyroid gland and parathyroid glands. But for today, we are flipping the classroom. You have all the material in, in, in sound, in pictures, and in text. Okay. What I'm going to do right now is to show you 10 representative questions which you ought to answer after you have already seen all these uh, resources, the multimedia resources. So now we will start dealing with the questions, these MCQ questions in the form of a TBL. And after that, I will try to wrap up with you what you need to know more or what is not very clear for you. But the aim of these questions is to raise discussions. So the first run of the question will be in the form of IRADS and then we will start with the uh, GRAD session as usual. Thank you. 
mentioned several times during the videos in the practical the theory videos it was mentioned several times so there's no way of missing it d d d d and d 35 year old man was diagnosed with an adenoma of the thyroid this required excision of the upper pole left lobe of the gland and ligation of the artery supplying the region which artery was ligated in this case? Superior thyroid artery. Okay. Which of the following nerves accompanying the artery, which means the superior thyroid artery, is most likely to be damaged? It is the? External laryngeal. Yes. And this was several times indicated also in the videos that it is the external branch of the superior laryngeal uh, nerve which accompanies the superior thyroid artery. Actually, it is in a close relation with this artery at which part of the artery? Proximal. Proximal part of the artery. That's why it is advised to ligate the artery as close as possible to the thyroid gland. Because in this case, you are going to avoid injury of this nerve. And if this nerve is injured, the external branch or the external of the superior laryngeal, what would happen? Weakness. There will be weakness of voice because it will be one of the muscles of the larynx that will be affected, and that is the tricothyroid muscle. What is the function of the tricothyroid? Tightening of the vocal cords. This is a, a mini PDL about our session today. It's a 32 year old, and the thyroid was surgically removed. So, um, describe the gross features and location of the thyroid gland. It has two pear-shaped lobes, exactly, with an upper pole, with an upper pole and a lower pole, and these two are united by a midline isthmus, which is a narrow part, and in most or many of the glands, there is an extra pyramidal lobe as well. Now, wh why did the thyroid mass move upward when the patient swallowed? Because it's contained in the... And the pre-tracheal fascia is attached to what? To the hyoid bone and to the trachea compression of the esophagus. And why are they compressed? Because the fascia is thicker front and center behind the thyroid gland enlarges and compresses behind. Exactly, but actually you should maybe you rephrase it that the gland it's so closely related to the trachea and the esophagus. Any comments? Negative? Positive? Any problems that you face? Victor, if you give us like a little bit time before, like if you uploaded the videos on the weekend or something, we could have finished them. But yesterday, because we had already certain amount of lectures, and with this one, it was hard to finish them. What about the histology of the What about the histology of the thyroid and parathyroid? It was not included in the videos. Uh, well, first, it makes us really study. Okay. Then, no, sometimes, yeah, we, we may, may miss some of the info if we didn't have that, like, uh, okay. this class. And uh, I, don't. I don't know. Did you study that alone? Did you, did you watch the video yesterday yes. alone? Yeah. Or uh, there were a group of students watching it? No, I was watching it alone. You. Anybody, anybody watched it in the groups? No one? You were willing. 
on, <laughs> on the simplified drawing, I've seen your other v videos regarding the simplified drawing. It's 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 much more easier to understand. Like for for example, these muscles and the triangles and the superior borders. If it was shown in a in a drawing, in a simplified drawing, as it used to to do, to be much helpful for us. Okay. So you you think that it is a very good way to on the triangles of the neck. It will be sketched in a simplified yeah. sketch to make things easier. Just like well. your previous videos about the arteries and veins and the branches. Yes. So because of the colors, you put uh, red and blue and, yeah. blue and black. All these things might help for me. Okay. Doctor, I think it's nice because we have already we have the lecture on blackboard and then we have the video explaining the same lecture with the slides and everything. So I think it's better like even even through the lecture while we are studying it, there are points that we think that it's not that important, but in the video while you're explaining, we'll know that it's important or... How, how do you know that it's important? You could have read it. This is my question. What does this add to you? I mean, yeah, doctor, like, my voice... Mm -hmm. Or, uh, or what thing. does this add? No, doctor, when like, you're explaining something, like, now we're reading, or let's say about this vessel, okay, like the Emma Art. thyroid Emma yeah. artery. We didn't, I didn't, honestly, for myself, when I read it, I was like, ah, I read it just once, and then I thought it won't be that important because it's only 10%. Okay. But then when we refer to the video, repeated it several times, so I, I knew that it is important, okay. so I came back to it. Great. Yes. And 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 the, and and the duration of the videos. Actually, I counted them. It was 62 minutes. Is that enough, or it's extra? No, no, no. It's enough. Okay. It's really nice. Okay. The earlier, the better. The earlier, the better. Oh. Yes. Uh, it's more comfortable actually to watch the video so that if we miss something, we can go back and rewatch it. Okay. And if like there's a point that goes too fast, we can go rewind and slow it down and understand better. And it's more comfortable than in the class. And there's no AC in the Okay. <laughs> What else would you like to add to the resources that I provided? I didn't understand. No, if there were, like, if there were drawings. Ah, you want sketches? Yes, yeah, sketches. Okay, okay, you want sketches as well. Okay, did you feel that there is something missing in the material? Yes. Was written on the slide, was it presented? It was in the PowerPoint presentation on the blackboard, but was not in any of these videos. Okay, great. So. And the histology part was also missing. You mean in, in multimedia, it was missing in the multimedia. Now, so everything, if, if everything was okay with you, then what had this session, the in-class session, what does it, what did it add to you? It stimulated the thinking. Usually when you have slides or a book, you only read and then you absorb it. But now you're stimulating your thinking and understanding it. Okay. What else? We revised the whole unit. You too? We revised the whole unit. The whole session. You revised the whole. Okay. Do you think that you could have just stayed home with all these resources? No, but this is important. There may be some It's very difficult to imagine some of the arteries and things, and when we, when you draw it, it's better. Okay, so again you are going back to the point of drawing. If yes. things are drawn gradually, yes. Yes. Yeah, it would be much better. Yes. And it's better for you to just yourself when you, when you have the TBL, like it meant to be more confident. Uh huh, so it increased confidence. Okay, okay, great. Do you like these questions to be posted to you now? Yes. yes. The MCQ questions? Yes. Do you think that I'm going to repeat them in the exam? No. no. So why is? Because uh, uh, we, can, we can remember when we can uh -huh. add and study. So it will just remember the, the whole revision. Okay, yes. yes. Yeah, as for like for every concept, we can have many PBLs because they're very helpful, the <coughs> clinical scenarios. The clinical scenario was helpful. Yes. It was essential there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you find all the answers for the questions yes. in the resources? Yes. yes. You find all the answers.
Was the practical video essential? It was essential. It was essential. How about the timing of posting the videos? You need. You want it earlier? Yes. The, first, the first videos were okay. But yeah. The practical was uh, around uh, nine o'clock, I believe. But I noticed that uh, many of you uh, have uh, um, viewed the videos. I've seen that yeah. uh, because maybe after one hour or two hours, it was the, the views were counting to about hundred views. So uh, I know that there are other people also viewing the videos, but definitely hundred views in one hour means that there is a, a gush at that moment. <coughs> yes. Uh, so Oh, but you prefer to, to be posted on the weekend, to have more time. We won't study anything, even if they were posted. Uh -huh. okay. We studied the, the last week. Yeah, yes. so you are, you are studying last week objectives. Yes. I think on Sunday it will be perfect. Sunday will be perfect, okay. Who watched the videos through mobile devices, like iPads or uh, or uh, I, f I mean iPhone, mobile, iPhone, mobile devices. One, two, three, four, oh, five. Shall we repeat? No, no. I'm, I'm, I want your feedback. Repeat, but not always. Okay. Actually, my opinion needs a lot of time. from me or you? Both. Both. Or both. Okay. So why why does it need a lot of time from you? Why? I have to watch the videos and then read the presentation. Okay. And I already have the presentation on the same day. Okay. Uh, thank you for your collaboration. It was uh, because of you that it, it, it I, I think it succeeded, but it needs a collaboration from both of us. I should do my job, and you should prepare. If you haven't prepared, you couldn't have uh, reached this level and these uh, answer these questions. So thank you again.